sure you guys check out our channel partner gamersubs go to gamersubs.gg and use code zach for 10 percent off keto friendly zero calories zero carbs zero sugar i drink it to keep myself energized keep myself going check them out gamersubs.gg use code zach for 10 percent off i'm drinking blueberry today and i i actually had to reorder some because it's my last my last little bit of blueberry it's so amazing it's such a summer cooler experience check them out gamersubs.gg code zach grab yourself some blueberry and uh we're gonna get started uh right after uh when i can when i can find the button right after this good afternoon everyone oh it's a friday afternoon stream i was feeling this today i was like i was like maybe i should stream today and then i remembered i had some stuff showing up today uh, that stuff is right here. Oh, and this this is some of the stuff. Uh, this is some of the stuff. And then there's other stuff over here from our good friends at Nomad right here. Now, let me just uh, let me just get the, I guess, uh, disclosure out of the way real quick here. Uh, I reached out to Nomad and I said, hey, um, can you send me this stuff? And they said, sure, we'd love to send you this stuff. And then they sent me the stuff. That's it. This is not this is not a paid thing there's no nothing like that okay it's not sponsored i just i want to do it i knew that i knew that nomad had some new stuff i want to show you guys the stuff and i and i promise you that it all has names <laughs> it's not just called stuff um so that's that's the disclosure right there uh before we get into it though i want to give a quick shout out and a quick thank you and a quick hello to our friends at Streamyard. thank you Streamyard, for sponsoring and taking care of empowering the live streams here at Zach Talks Tech in glorious 1080p. You can also use StreamYard uh, for all your streaming needs. Very simple, you pick a microphone, you pick a camera, and away you go. They make it real simple. I'm doing this entire stream through StreamYard. Um, and you can make it as complicated as easy as you want. You can upload clips or whatever. And one of the best parts about StreamYard is you can actually stream to multiple destinations, multiple platforms. So tonight, or today, this afternoon, whatever you want to call it, we're on YouTube and we're also on Twitter. Uh, but you can you can stream it to Facebook and you can LinkedIn, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, so check them out, StreamYard.com. You can actually try them out for free. Link is down below. Check them out. Thanks again to them for uh, for powering us. I do appreciate it. All right, people, we want to get as uh, we want to get into this as quickly as possible. We want to say uh, some quick hellos to the people in the chat, the people that show up, uh, the fans, the community, the Zach Pack. You guys know who you are. Um, first of all, how's this new mic sounding? And, and do you guys do you guys appreciate this positioning, or should I have it come up from the bottom? Let me know. This is the Sure Super 55 Deluxe, and not only does it look beautiful, it sounds beautiful. I don't know if you guys get a good view from camera four anymore. I had to reposition camera number three here for this top-down view of the things that we're gonna be going through. But this is the iPad. I mean, you can see the microphone here. You can see me. But we're kind of kind of behind the scenes view kind of thing. Uh, no camera two today. But I, lo I love this microphone just because it sounds so good. And uh, it looks good too. All right. Let's see who we got in the chat. We got Geno says we got Ace Rocks Tech. Rocksmirth. How you doing? Bob Grimes. Do all those zeros also apply to taste? Do all those zeros also apply to taste? No, no, dude, it tastes good. It, it, it tastes awesome. I wouldn't be drinking if, if if I wasn't. Here's the thing. I was looking for companies to uh, to work with, but the, one of the key, a couple of key things for me was zero calories, zero sugar. Well, their biggest competitor has some calories, still zero sugar. Um, but it, I just like the the grassroots uh, approach and whatnot that Gamer Stuff uses. I, I find it all very flavorful. My my two favorite flavors are, uh, well, this is the blueberry, like I was talking about, and uh, and the new melon flavor. It's really good too. So uh, definitely check them out. Uh, who else we got here? We got Mike. Hello, Zach and everybody. Bob Grimes. Yes, we, we're all saying hello to Bob. Love the classic Mike. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yo, what's up? We got Latrell. How you doing? Don Coven. 
How you doing, sir? Now, if you guys see Don's name in the chat there, in the in the replay chat, his name is highlighted in green. That means he's a channel member. You can also become a channel member, and with that, you get a fancy badge next to your name, custom emojis, and things like that. Uh, you uh, you know you absolutely do not have to, but it's a way to additionally support the channel and myself and put a little more food on our table. I'm not trying to guilt trip you, honestly. I am hungry though. I'm just kidding. Uh, my kids are hungry. But, uh, you know, if you want to, check it out. Click that join button and away you go. We do private streams and things like that. Who else do we have here going through? Oh, uh, it's getting hot in here as I scroll down. I know exactly whose chat I'm getting to here. Uh, <laughs> Mike says the uh, Mike says the mic sounds great. It looks great. Uh, it's delicious. I love the lemon. Yeah, Don's got the lemon flavor. He used my code. We got Viper coming in here with the fire. Mr. Viper. He's got a great, uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm thinking the thing that he's doing later on this afternoon on Twitter Spaces is an interview, and I hope there's a chance to ask questions, because I have a question for Mr. Marquez Brownlee. Uh, so Viper's doing that thing at uh, 6 o'clock Eastern, I believe, is on Twitter Spaces. We have MKBHD, so make sure you guys join on that. Everybody Twitter uh, on both Android and uh, iOS, you should have access to Twitter Spaces so you can join that. So make sure you guys go check that out. Check out the tweet and the link. There's also a, a reminder link as well that uh, Viper did send out today. Give me a second here. I need to... There we go. It's kind of weird. It, this thing is it, it's really good, but as soon as you get like over here or kind of over here, it doesn't pick up, but it does. it is quite wide once, you, once, once you're in front of it. All right. What else we got here? Even A, how you doing? All right, people. So, good friends over at uh, Nomad sent me a few things uh, at my request, and I wanted to go through them with you guys here today. We got the uh, we got the down shot here tonight, so I'll, uh, this afternoon. So I'll be using this angle here and this angle here to give you guys kind of a you know a real look and everything. But of course, top down here for unboxing. Here's something new that they've. Uh, I don't know if the music's too loud here. Let me just turn it down a little bit. All right, there we go. There we go. Uh, they sent along, check this out, <laughs> leather conditioner. Um, if you want to rub that into your Nomad products, like almost everything Nomad does now has their has their Horween leather on there. And it's, it's just, oh, I wish you guys could smell my office right now. It smells just amazing. <laughs> uh, so thanks for sending that along. Uh, let's start with, um, let's start with this right here. This right here is the base station mini. Now, if you guys are familiar with their regular base station, this is just the mini version of it. Okay. Pretty simple, right? So we're going to go ahead and, um, oh, of course there's tape on the back here, right? So let's, uh, and there's not enough space for me to do the unboxing with the top down camera. Uh, I need to reposition it. I've been playing with the positions of this, uh, this top down camera here. But it's just uh, not always working out. But anyway, we're going to go check this out. This is the uh, Base Station Mini. It's got the Horween leather on the bottom, uh, on the on the surface here for your phone. So we'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and pop off this. Uh, oh, there's two pieces of tape. Of course there is. All right. Jeez. All right. All right. We're gonna... Beautiful packaging as usual. Nice. There's a really good weight to this. It's got some rubberized feet on the bottom there, so it's not going to slip around. Nice and soft. This is going to give you fast wireless charging, depending on your device. Uh, it is a USB, yes, on the back here, USB Type-C connection. Let's see if I can show you guys on this camera here. Uh, yeah, so you guys can see here, I'm just going to pull this back. USB Type-C connection there, nice and heavy. We'll just put it down there. By the way, this is the Nomad mouse pad. This is the one in black, really nice. So anyway, there's the mouse, there's right there. Um, and on the inside here on the box as well, we're also going to get, they're going to provide you a nice braided, it looks to be about probably about a three foot cord, USB-C to USB-C. So you would plug this into a USB-C block that would give you fast charging. Uh, speaking of, <laughs> you could probably use one of Nomads, which uh, is right here. They got their new 20 watt USB-C charger here. So I'm going to show you guys this. now. Uh, I don't have uh, affiliate links or anything like that for any of the product or anything I'm showing today. Like I said, I just I reached out to Nomad because I'm a fan of their product. You guys know that um, you know they they always keep the quality up there. So um, you know, just like their stuff, man. Just really like their stuff. So anyway, cord, and then they also give you 
the pad right there. So there is their base station mini. And away we go. Let's go ahead and pop this box over here. Since, uh, that's weird. This is actually my intro song. Skip that. All right, there we go. Let's go back to the chat here. If you guys have questions, let me know along the way. I will answer them for you as much as I can. Um... Yeah, like I was saying before, people, 15-watt uh, wireless charging compatible with all uh, Qi devices, uh, USB-C-powered. Of course, it's got the non-slip grips on the bottom there, aluminum alloy body. It's really, It's got a really good weight to it. Like, if you wanted a minimal setup and you just need something for a single phone, uh, this is it right here. You just pop that on there. Of course, I don't have a plug-in right now. And away you go, right? So, very, very nice. Let's go ahead and put that there, actually. So the next thing we're going to look at is that right there. That's their new 20 watt USB-C power adapter. Because as we know, <laughs> there's a lot of manufacturers that are not including these anymore, right? So I am more than happy to tell you guys about good third parties uh, that are making USB-C adapters. And it's got a little film thing on it here. I just slipped it off and ooh, this it's got a, it's not black. It's like a really dark, like space gray. See if I can show you guys here. Look at that. So you could, you could put those together right there. That is a great, great, great combo right there. Small. This has got a good way to again. USB Type C. 20 watt. So you're gonna get the fast charging on there. Looking forward to using that. Look at that's such a, that's such a great combo right there. You have the min, the mini charger there, and then you got the 20 watt adapter. Nice. Very, very nice. All right, people. So the next uh, few things are, I don't want to say they're not tech related, but they're from a company that makes tech products, Nomad. Um, you know, they, they make all sorts of great, you know, cases and things like that, like I showed you guys here with the, with the leather. Um, and of course, Nomad also has a lineup of leather wallets okay so we got three new leather wallets from nomad here i'm gonna put my mouse over here we're gonna go through all of them now to to kind of reiterate here before we go through all of them i actually have one of nomad's original wallets i've had this for a couple of years this one actually came with a tile tracker at the time in fact it still has a tile tracker in it i've had this for a number of years it's kind of just a, just a slim fold design so you got a pocket on the on the front on the front here nothing on the back and on the inside, you've got a couple more pockets. There's a few over here and then one behind here. And then there's a big pocket inside here that holds the tile tracker. So this was kind of like their first iteration, some minimal branding right here. This is kind of their first iteration of their wallets. And this is this thing is held up. This song plays all the time and I dislike it. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, people. Um, this is like they said, this is one of their ver very first iterations of their wallets. Uh, they also have a password wallet and whatnot, but now they've come out with a whole bunch of, uh, of new wallets. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at them. Uh, we're going to start with... Uh, let's start with this one right here. The card wallet. Let me just uh, get myself organized here. All right, this is this the card wallet right here. So this is probably your most minimal wallet that uh, Nomad's going to have here. Rustic brown. It also comes in black. They're also available in black. Um, but you can see how the patina works there on the back. All right. Let's go ahead and pop this open. And uh, we'll take a look at it. I gotta tell you guys, oh, it smells so good. So check out this packaging. Um, so on the inside here, I get a little story, some information about the wallet and whatnot. Just really, I've, I've, I've always talked about this. Any company that takes the time to put their packaging together like this, th that just shows a lot of care and a lot of love and respect for their customer base. I'm not saying if you don't, you don't have that, but it's nice to see companies that kind of go above and beyond. And Nomad has always had terrific packaging. I really, really dig this, this whole gray thing that they got going on and everything. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this out of here. And the wallet's inside this little, this little fabric bag, I guess you want to call it, I guess. Let's go ahead and pop that out of there. 
And there she is right there. I'm going to hold it up over here. So this is the uh, card wallet. Okay. You guys can see the color. This is, again, the rustic brown card wallet. So you got uh, Nomad embossing here. You got two slots here. There's obviously a slot at the top. Okay. And then you got another slot right here. Okay. So if you're a minimalist, you only carry around like your credit card, your debit card, and maybe your ID. This is great. Throw some business cards if you also need that as well on the inside here. This is probably what I'm going to use. I love minimal wallets like this. I love just keeping it simple. Put it in my front pocket and everything like that. This is really great. I'm going to show you guys on the other camera here. There's right there. That's the card wallet. Great look to it. Stitching on the sides here look good. And of course, uh, let's go. But uh, yeah, card wallet. This is a little over the top, wasn't it? Hey, David, ninety-nine YT. How you doing? Glad you're here. Oh yeah. Let's go into the next wallet. Um, this is the card wallet plus. So we're gonna look at the the plus version. So the, the the wallet I just showed you guys was the this is the card wallet. This next we're gonna look at is the card wallet plus. So I mean it, it's it's bigger, right? So let's go ahead and pop this open. Same same idea as before. Again, opens up, get some information. The wallet is inside a little baggie here. Again, classy design, classy everywhere. And we're gonna pop this out. Ooh, of course we'll give it a little. So rather than, geez, I'm sorry. So rather than being a one piece uh, design right here, uh, it does fold open. So if you need a little more room, definitely got the rich vibes in the smell test. <laughs> Thanks, Al. Uh, you need a little more room. So this is very much like their first generation wallet that I was showing you guys before. So you got one, two, three slots there. You got one slot, two slots there. On the outside, you got a slot, and then it's nothing on this side. Completely clean, so there's no branding except for on the inside. So if you're if you know you don't like the if you don't like branding, this is just on the inside. Again, Nomad always keeps it very minimal. Okay, you guys can see right there. There's the card wallet. A little different view. This is the, sorry, the card wallet plus. Um. I can't remember how many cards I have, but this will probably be. This might be one I'll, I'll gravitate to as well. Um, but yeah, nice and slim again. And again, oh yeah. Mm. I mean, if you've ever owned, if you've ever owned Horween leather products from Nomad, you know, yeah, you know exactly what this is right now. Okay, this is getting a little uh, it's getting a little weird here. Let's uh <laughs> let's move on to the last one. Uh, the last one is the bifold wallet. Okay, bi fold wallet. Okay, so this one's gonna be a lo uh, a lot bigger, a more traditional type. Um, and let's take a look again. Same sort of packaging as before with the uh, the open design there, and the wallet is inside of a. A little case, or sorry, a little baggie here. It's like a fabric bag. And right there. Right there. Look at that. So yeah, this is your more traditional. So on the back here, there's a there is a slot right here. So I'm gonna show you guys on the other angle here. On the back here, you guys can see there's a slot right here. Completely clean on the front. Again, no branding or anything like that. Go ahead and pop her open. And we've got uh, slot, slot, on the, obviously on both sides here, minimal Nomad branding. And of course, you have your main compartment up here for holding your cash. So this is definitely, uh, this is definitely, you know, your more traditional style right here. Very, very nice. Uh, and again, we're gonna have to give it a quick, uh... oh yeah, maximum leather. All right, uh, sorry. <laughs> it's so nice. I, I now I have to find three friends to send wallets to. 
um, I'll, I'll probably listen. To, I'll probably uh, reach out to my dad and see if he wants a new wallet, <laughs> whatever. But there you guys go. There's the that's the bifold. We got the uh, card wallet plus and card wallet. Whoop! You guys can see that. I'll lay them out here for you guys to see. So card wallet. Card Wallet Plus, and then Bifold. And of course we have the uh, Hub Mini, the new 20 watt charger here. And uh, I think these are some stickers and things like that that sent me. So thank you Nomad for sending out all this great stuff. If you guys have any questions at all, now is the time to get them in. Um, if there's anything else in tech, well, I will just open up the floor right now for kind of like a free for all. If you have any questions or anything like that, I know that like I said we're on we're on YouTube, and we're also on Twitter. Um, I think the Twitter feed is going through. It should be. Yeah. Looks like the Twitter feed is working. That's good. By the way, I'm going to show you guys this real quick. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the Nomad website. Because right now they're having a summer sale with up to 30% off, depending on you know what you're picking up. Let's go ahead and close that off. So lots of stuff on here. Again, we'll go to the base station. Let's go to the let's go to wireless. And so the, here's the original base stations. These are these guys are a lot bigger. Uh, I, we have this upstairs in our uh, on our buffet next to our kitchen. So we like to put our phones on there. Um, I'm actually using this one right here, the base station stand to charge my iPhone right now. And then here's the new base station mini. These prices that you guys see here, these are direct from Nomad, um, US pricing, okay? So go ahead and check them out, nomadgoods.com. Um, if you're looking for gear, so we'll go to classic wallets. Here's the card wallet. You guys can see it also comes in the black. The black looks so nice. I like that black, I really do. Card wallet plus. And the bifold, okay. And if you've ever owned a leather wallet, you know, you know what to expect, right? And then let's go to power um, adapters. So the new 20 watt power adapter from uh, Nomad is 18.95. That's really reasonable. Less than 20 bucks. Fast charging. Good job. Good job with that. All right, let's go. Uh, let's answer some questions here. Uh, Ace says, did you, "Did you see Windows 11?" My thoughts. My thoughts are, I don't use Windows anymore. As you guys know, I melted my last Windows <laughs> laptop. Um, I would definitely would like to try Windows again. Um, I use a Mac environment. I'm, a, I'm actually on a MacBook right now, and um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm interested to see how the whole Android app thing works. I'm really interested in that. Um, it was very interesting to hear a lot of, <laughs> a lot of the wording and whatnot from that presentation. I kept on thinking to myself, is this an Apple presentation? <laughs> and nothing against, it's, it's not, that's not a slight against, uh, Windows or anything like that. But obviously they're recognizing that, you know, you gotta just make it simple and everything. One of the things that drove me absolutely nuts when I was on Windows, when I had a Windows machine, like I, I've been on Windows for years. Like I originally started on a 386, whatever it was. And then I had a Pentium or something like that. Like, I'm old. Okay, so <laughs> I've been around. I started using DOS. I used to know how to program and use DOS and everything like that. And then I, I I went from everything from Windows 95 on and everything like that. So I've been in Windows. I've been using Windows for a while, right? Uh, I, I just, one of the things that drove me nuts is, is year after year after year after year, <laughs> Windows would just constantly have these never-ending updates. No matter what you were doing, or how many times he told Windows, don't update. Yeah, he'd be in the middle of something. It would start updating and start doing things. And it drove me absolutely nuts. And I know that it's somewhat to the same same way nowadays. And I know I, love, I might get a lot of flack from this, but I, I just enjoy my Mac environment. Yeah, I use Chrome on my Mac. That was the easiest transition for me because I was on 
Chrome on my Windows, you know, PC before I, I moved over. Uh, you know, I use Final Cut for the majority of my work and a lot of the plugins and things like that that I use, things from, uh, things from uh, Loopback and whatnot, um, are all very, are all Mac, you know, specific and everything. So, um, you know, if I get a chance to try it out, I will. But I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to go, you know, switch over. Because I'm very much in the Mac environment and I'm happy with it and the way that everything integrates with my iPhone and, and things like that, my iPad and everything like that. that. Those are my thoughts. I hope that, I hope that makes some sort of sense. Right? So. All right. Well, if there's no other questions, then I think we could probably wrap it up. Just make it a quick 30 minute stream. Uh, there are timestamps down in the description that I will add after the stream here once we close things off. Uh, again, big thanks to, uh, to Nomad and the crew there for sending out all this great stuff. Uh, I'm, I definitely needed another one of these. So, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably switch over my wallet to that uh, slim one there or, or the or the uh, either the slim, either the super slim one or the or the plus one that one that opens up. I have, to, I have to figure out how many cards I have. I'm pretty sure I can use this uh, debit card, credit card and ID. Yeah, this I think this will work right here. I like this. I, again, I like the minimal. Anyway. Should be fun. Appreciate all you guys that showed up today uh, in the chat and everything like that. I appreciate you guys all the support and everything. We're going to get back into regular streaming here on the channel uh, starting in July. I've got a special stream coming up next week. I have I have something being delivered from Amazon. And it's going to be... It's going to be... I hope it'll be funny. Um, but I know it's going to be painful for me. So uh, make sure you guys tune in for that. I'll drop some hints and... Uh, some additional information as we get closer to that day, but the delivery for this product is supposed to be on Tuesday or Wednesday next week. So uh, I'll, I'll definitely let you guys go know. All right. You guys all have a good day. Have a good Friday. Make sure you guys check out Viper's thing with uh, MKBHD at uh, six o'clock Eastern. Take care. Cheers. Mm -hmm.